Okay, this is my new rain flies with their uh, quilt. This I had custom made to be uh, 12 feet long. Um, so it overhangs about a foot, foot and a half on either side of the uh, hammock that I'll set up in a minute. But uh, it's got three tie outs. You can see here. One in the center and one on the side. If it was going to be a wind driven rain, I would have it all three come down in the back. And uh, it's, it's about eight inches off the ground. It makes a nice teepee. Um, but we're not having rain. We had a little rain last night. It was just a shower. It worked out good. But now this is, this is huge. Huge cooking area, sitting area. You can see how I have it set up over here. The breeze is coming from this way, so this will help block the breeze tonight. Keep it a little warmer in there. Oh, and these, I got these here. These are Jacks are better online. These are tie downs. They have a little a surgical tubing here. And what this does is if, you, if you're in a wind, this here will give. Instead of having a sharp line here and the wind, the gusts of winds, wind pulling this, see, it has some give to it. Uh, it will, um, it will, it will, it will give you a little more life out of your uh, your your rain top here. Um, they weren't too bad. I got six of them, three for each side, and up on the top, I just have a six foot line, and uh, I just wrap it around, and I have another six feet. Uh, as a spare, in case I'm in an area where the where the trees are even further apart. But here it is in here now. It comes comes sewn with its own ridge line. See the ridge line right here. Ah, uh, so you can pull this tart, and you don't have to put up a separate ridge line underneath it. This is uh, really happy with this right now. Uh, by underground quilts uh, and they'll they'll make these they have standard they have stock ones but this one here I had made for my you know I wanted the, the extra ridge line on it and uh, I'm really happy what comes in at one pound geez I'll have to wait again but I'm pretty sure it was like one pound six ounces uh, for this top which is basically my tent so there it is now I'll set up the hammock and show you the hammock and that was by uh, Hennessy Hammocks. And then I also got two quilts from Underground Quilts. I got the top quilt zero degree goose down and then I got the bottom quilt zero goose down too and it was really toasty last night. I got into the upper 40s and I was sweating. I had to stay on top of it but I'd rather have it that way than freeze. Okay, so um, let me set up the hammock and get back to you. Okay, here we go. Just uh, set up the uh, hammock, the Hennessy hammock, and um, I just I just put in my uh, top quilt. I'm not going to use the bottom quilt tonight. It was too warm last night. It's going to be like 4 degrees warmer tonight. It should get up about 52 degrees. So that's all I need. I'll show you what I'm using though. Uh, Hennessy recommended. They have, um, they have these heat shields. Body shields. It's all one piece. Goes all the way down. Rolls right up. He said this is he, basically when he, he goes out, on the, out in the field. Uh, that's good to about low 40s 40 42 so um, I know last night I could feel the heat coming right up against me coming right back to me so uh, that's what I'm going to use I always sleep with my thermal wear this is a medium this is 250 uh, wool thermal wear I always I have a 150 for like uh, real warm but I'd rather put that wear that than uh, than a line it keeps my oil my skin the oils from my skin, all the you know, dirt, sweat from from getting into the sleeping bag. I'd rather use a, a light, light um, 
bag, to, I'm not bag, but, um, you know, thermals to wear. Or PJs, whatever you want to do. This is my quilt. Uh, no zippers. Um, this here just lays right over you. And we have a foot pocket. We have a foot pocket right here. I mean, you've seen these on YouTube. Uh, you know, um, you just lay right in. You lay this right over you. And you lay right on. You lay right on here. Um, this is a zero. This is a goose down zero. I wanted. I only wanted to buy one because they are pretty pricey. So um, if it's too hot, you just vent it. That's all you got to do is just vent it. And um, so this is this is my setup here. And then this is the this is the fly. It comes right over. Um, I just have it hooked right here. But anyway, uh, it's got the bug net. It comes right over it. Zippers right in the side. I, I Hennessy makes a makes a unit that. You come in through the uh, through the bottom here. I didn't. I'm not creative. I, I don't think that would have worked out for me. Good idea, but I, for my for me, I'd rather come in through the side. So this is my setup. And uh, what I did also is I hung I hung another ridge line underneath, not to support the tarp, but to hang. Now I can hang my bag. I can hang. You know my uh, my backpack. I can hang clothes in there. I can keep everything off the ground. Um, critters can't get to it. Ants can't get into there. Plus, because I ordered the uh, custom the custom rain fly here, uh, you see how see how much of an overhang I have now. See my hammock. My hammock ends way way back here. This is the hammock. And look at where the top is. The top comes way over here. It's about a foot and a half on either side. Same thing. So this will really give me a lot of protection. And this is what I wanted to do originally, so I could hang my gear, hang my gear underneath the top. I'll give you another look here. I'll back off a little bit. See how that all worked out? Everything's off the ground. So tonight what I'll do is I have another Caribbean with a line. I'll hang my boots up here to keep the boots off the ground, to keep the spiders and, and chipmunks from... Uh, from you know doing anything to my boots and I'm gonna start hanging my food bag right off of my hammock too uh, the bears on the East Coast are not gonna bother you they uh, if you're with your food they are not gonna bother you um, so that's where my food's gonna be right here and um, I would never do this, let's say, west of the Mississippi, no way, or in Canada, but here on the East Coast, I've never seen a problem, and I would say half a, eh, a third to half of the ATs that I've met on the, on, the, on the Appalachian Trail sleep with their food, or they have their food in their tent, so, um, I mean, they have all that, they have all their food in the shelter hanging right over their head. You don't see bears going in the shelter while they're sleeping there. So same thing here. If you're with your food, they're not going to bother you. So anyway, don't take my word on that, but that's my theory. <laughs> uh, so this is my setup. And I'm pretty happy with it. So again, the top, custom made by uh, Underground Quilts. They also make my Zero top quilt and my Zero bottom quilt that I will show you down the road whenever I use it. Um, and then the uh, the hammock is by Hen Hennessy Hammock. And then I also have the uh, heat shield by Hennessy also. Um, I could have gotten the rain fly from Hennessy but they only make an 11 footer, that's it. Um, it was too short. The 11 footer came right to the edge. Any any kind of rain, any wind driven rain, you wouldn't have the coverage that I'm getting here. I mean, look at this thing. Look at look at the room I have underneath here. Look at this. I mean, this is like having a tent. It's like having a uh, a shelter, a portable shelter. And I can bring the sides down too, so they'll be about a about 8 to 12 inches off the ground or really make it nice and tight in here you know if there was a wind driven rain so this is the setup let me show you how I uh, do this this is really quick I set this thing up and uh, 
I don't know, two minutes. I got the seven foot straps, okay? It, they come with the 48, too, too short. I went with the sevens. And then I went and I got these at REI. These are these little uh, quick, I don't know what, what they call them, night, night eyes. It's like a little Caribbean, Caribbean. Uh, but I put the strap on here, I put the strap on here. And then, and then my line, this is, this is what they use. They use paracord here for your hammock. And, and it's really easy to, uh, you just, just un, unle unleash it and either back off with it, let, let the hammock slide down, or pull on it to tighten. You bring this around, lock it in, it's like a cam lock, and that's it, all done. Simple, and these things are light too. They, I don't know what they're made, aluminum or something, I don't know, some kind of material, but they're super light. Um, and this here is the, this here is the uh, snake skin. This here, you just pull right down. You just pull this here right down. And it just this whole hammock just fold just folds right into the snakeskin, and then you dump it into your bag. Here's here's what the critters got my uh, ate my lunch a couple of weeks ago. We were on a trail. I put my food down for like two minutes, and a chipmunk came in and ate a hole through here and got to my food. So just a little uh, gorilla tape inside and out, and took care of that. So anyway. $30 bag for these things. I'm not going to keep going out and buying bags every time a critter puts a hole on it. Alright, so that's it. That's our setup. Really happy with the Hennessy and with the underground quilt people. Alright.